Hey Leo, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot. Here to do your weekly reading for October 6th through the 13th. Okay, um, this reading is going to be two parts. All right, so for the first part, <clears throat> we're going to look at how the two of you are viewing each other, your feelings for each other, how you would describe each other, and then finally, your conscious desires for each other. That'll be the first part. The second part, we'll take a look at hidden desires, okay? All right, so let's get started. The first row is going to be for you, and the second row will be for them. This is the Universal Celtic Tarot. It's a newer deck that just came out. Of course, it's beautiful. And then I'm going to use the Haunted House Tarot <laughs> for them. And this isn't a spooky deck by any stretch. It's like a mystic, mystical deck. All right. And for those of you that are new to my channel, I don't do reversals in general readings, okay? All right, let's see what we got, Leo. These readings have been super interesting this week. All right, so this is how you view each other, okay? Knight of Swords. Okay, so you see them as either wanting to, to come in very quickly towards you, or, you know, you know that they have something to say. Um, you know they want to tell you something. You know they want to communicate with you. That's how you're seeing them. You might be seeing, um, you know, you might be seeing posts on social media that make you feel like this person wants to get your attention. I don't know why that came through, but it did. And then for them, all right, so they see you as the King of Wands, all right? So that means they see you as very vivacious, confident, charming. Um, what else is new, right, Leo? <laughs> um, yeah, so they, they see you kind of being your best self, all right? And of course... You feel like they they have something to say. They they might be watching you um, and seeing something on your social media that they want to communicate with you about, or they simply just you just may know that they want to come in and talk, or that they have some urgency about them right now. All right, as far as feelings all right so okay you have the three of wands okay so that means again this there's an expectancy here okay three of wands is you know knowing that your ships are coming in which speaks to what i just said with the knight of wands so i feel like you are feeling confident just as they're seeing you i feel like they're seeing you accurately um you have expectancy about this person coming towards you. All right, how are they feeling? They're feeling a little shady, okay? Um, they're not really feeling um, great about, I, I feel like, what they're doing here. Like, they don't feel great about searching your social media or asking people about you or, you know, it, it comes across to you especially as a little weak, a little weak in character, okay? And that's not something that you <laughs> typically like to see in somebody, okay? So I feel like they're trying not to be obvious about it. But I feel like you're 
like one step ahead of them and you know that they're doing this. All right, so how would you describe this person? King of Cups. All right, this is making, you know, really good sense here. You would describe them to other people as somebody that doesn't wear their heart on their sleeve, hence why they need to do things in the background to figure you out, to figure out where you are, who you're with, what you're doing. You know, they don't come right out and ask you. You know, they, they're kind of behind the scenes, all right? And there's part of you that doesn't appreciate that, okay? And King of Cups is typically somebody that doesn't wear their heart on their sleeve, but they have a lot of love. So that part of it, I feel like you're forgiving of, okay? Because I feel like you know that this person has some deep feelings for you. The, the thing of it is, is that I'm not seeing um, with you... It's almost like you don't want to tell me how you feel about this person, okay? Um, how would they describe you? They would describe you as their heart's desire, okay? This is the star. Um, this person has a lot of feelings for you, a lot of deep, deep-seated feelings here. You know, and I feel like you're driving them crazy. <laughs> you are driving this person crazy. Um, you know, how you feel about them is not strongly coming through. Let's see, your conscious desires around this person. Queen of Wands. Again, <laughs> you know... It, this is about you being very confident about how this person feels about you, all right? And this person sees you in this beautiful, single, confident energy. Boy, do they ever see you as confident. But as far as how you feel, you, you know, you expect this person to, to come to you. You know they have feelings for you. You're confident <laughs> as all get out here. But this isn't really telling me how you feel. What are their conscious desires? King of Cups. This is how you would describe them. This is how they are. All right, so... They have a lot of love for you. They don't love the way that they're going about things. They don't, and I feel like you probably don't as well, but you're, you're dealing with it because you know that they are king of cups. You know that they have deep love for you. Man, all right, so we've got we've to get some clarifiers here. I'm going to clarify the seven of swords for them. I want to clarify the Knight of Swords and the Three of Wands for you. Okay. All right. Knight of Swords for you, clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so again, you see them as somebody that really wants to say something to you. And that makes sense because we have the King of Cups here twice, which is a very silent king because he doesn't wear his heart on, on his sleeve. Eight of Pentacles is about work. It's about putting in the work. It's about possibly somebody at work. But again not telling me a lot about your feelings. It might be, you know, your feelings might be so deep and kind of hidden that you, it's the energy is not even revealing itself in this reading. Three of Wands, what is it that you are expecting and how do you feel about it? 
we have another eight. Eight of Wands, you're expecting communication. It's almost like until this person comes in and reveals themselves, you're pretty much not thinking about it. You're going about your business. This is a really, really strong energy that doesn't, this is not a typical reading. You know, I'm really kind of proud of you. <laughs> you know, this is such a good, confident energy. Let's see. Um, Seven of Swords, clarified. Wow. Ten of Cups. You have got them wrapped up. All right. So they're being sneaky because they want that strong emotional commitment with you. All right. There's no doubt about it. They're trying to they're trying to figure out the best way to talk to you or approach you or you know come back to you whatever it is this is what's behind it for you you're just like you know this person you know with these two eights here what comes before eight seven the sevens are about really asking yourself where you're at, where you want to go. So I feel like you've decided what direction you're moving in, whether this person wants to come along for the ride or not. And that's a beautiful energy to be in. Good for you. Wow. The confidence is just, I mean, that's excellent energy. Excellent energy. All right, so let's see hidden desires for you. Now I'm really intrigued as to what your hidden desires are. That's for you. And this is for them, hidden desires. Although I don't think they're really hidden. They're right out there. All right, and then I'm using... A separate deck to clarify these two cards. All right. Let's see if you're going to tell me anything now. Your hidden desire. Check that out. Hangman. You are just, you know, this might be that you feel in limbo because you're waiting for this person to make a move, but I don't feel that. I feel like you're almost keeping this person in limbo. And you're just, you're fine to just hang out. You're fine to hang around there. You're fine to hang by that tree and just, uh, you know, and just be your own person. Clarified by, oh, these nails. Strength. There's your card, Leo. So, I feel like your hidden desire, okay, is you want to get out of this limbo state with this person. You do, all right? And it's taking every ounce of strength for you to, to tame the beast. I do feel like there is a strong connection here that you're holding back from because you absolutely feel that this person needs to make the next move. It's like the ball is in their court. It's like, get it together. Get your act together. I feel you, like you're saying, okay? Um, over here, their hidden desires. What do we have? Seriously, Ace of Cups. I mean, this person is just pouring out. I mean, it's just so obvious. Clarified by Queen of Swords. All right, so their, their hidden desire... I feel like is really for you to express your feelings and to be clear about it, okay? Um, so this might be kind of a back and forth for a while because these energies, you know, really don't go together <laughs> because you're perfectly fine staying in this state of limbo so this person can you know, be the one that comes to you. And yet they're wanting some type of sign or expression from you about the feelings that you have. And clearly in this reading, 
I, I don't feel really any expression of feelings from you. It's like you are keeping it very, very close to the vest. And they know that. I don't think they're completely sure how you feel. All right, and that's why they're, you know, digging in and trying to figure things out. And I think it's driving them crazy. They're, you are driving this person absolutely batty. All right, so we're going to continue by pulling um, three oracle cards for the hidden desires portion. First card is from the soul's journey. Second card is from the Lenormand deck. All right, and final card is from the Romance Angels. I think your reading is going to be one of the shorter ones because most of them have been quite a bit longer because this message is just very clear to me. All right, so first card we have empathy. So somebody has a hidden desire that somebody shows a little bit more empathy and I feel like that's coming from this side towards you. So this person, you know, may secretly want some, like some expression, some empathy, some kindness from you. And you're being very tough. You're being very, very tough. There's a reason for that. And we're not going into that right now. Okay. All right. So we have the bear. So the bear is a very, very protective energy. And I, you know, when we're looking at hidden desires, I, you know, I read this like, you want this person to step up and be a man. You know, be that protector, have that confidence to come towards you. You know, I mean, that's what I'm feeling from you. It's like a little bit of a turnoff to you that this person is being as wishy-washy as they are. But you know what? Here's the deal. Wishy-washy or not, you know, they do have they do have the strong feelings and it's the vulnerability piece I feel this person is struggling with, making themselves vulnerable here. Because it, it feels like the dynamic between the two of you might have been very, very witty, um, you know, back and forth banter, flirtatious, you know, and this person feels like by making themselves vulnerable, they, they kind of step out of the... <clears throat> you know, the cadence or the dynamic that the two of you had. That's kind of deep, and but I that, that comes to me pretty clearly from this card um, and from how, what you're desiring from this person. It's like you might have to show a little empathy or you might have to bend a little so this person can step up and be this protective bear. All right, and then finally we have, seriously, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. All right, so I feel like this is this card is speaking from both of you as far as hidden desires. This is what you both want for different reasons. You want it because you want this person to be that confident, you know, protective man. I feel it's a man, okay? But it may not be, all right? Um, but you want that, you want what you thought you saw in this person. You, you know, and you did not expect this person to be so gun-shy when it came to 
expressing themselves or expressing their love. I feel like it's all there, just waiting to be opened up. It's like a present under a tree, just waiting to be opened up on both sides. Yep. Wow. I'm going to pull two additional cards for these cards up here, just because. Four of Wands and the Hermit. So all of this limbo and reflection and thinking that the two of you are doing right now is, is really about a, a union, a union that could lead to commitment and marriage. So I feel like it's a big deal for both of you. But this is this is the 1111 card. So, you know, there might be, you know, some runner chaser energy here a little bit. But I definitely do not feel you, Leo, in the chaser role at all. I strongly feel this person in the chaser role. Now keep in mind, with a general reading, it can be reversed. This could be you. This could be them. Okay, um, but especially with the with your cards showing up there, I strongly feel like this is you. This is about the strongest, most confident energy I've seen in a long time come through for any reading. It's beautiful. You both want to hear it. And I feel like this is a, a game of who says it first. That's what it is. All right, Leo, that's what I have for you for this week. Hope you enjoyed it. And if it didn't resonate, you can always reach out to me um, for a personal reading if you like. All right, have a great week, Leo. Bye.